opened it up and it looks like the roof wasn't properly sealed. So that's what we got and there's bees coming in. Okay, here we go. It's Shira here and we all seem to be obsessed with bees these days. I mean, bees do make the world go round, but this guy found a 100 pound bee nest in his home. Check it out. So just for context here, finding bees in your home is pretty common and users online have been sharing their experiences and social media has drastically been eating it all up. Even Jason Derulo has gotten into it. Well, more on that Texas beekeeper in a moment, but people have been obsessed with beehive removals, including on TikTok. According to insider Andrew Noyes, who's a recent homeowner as of September, 2021, said he started finding bee carcasses in his home just shortly after moving in. From places like the bedroom, the bathroom, and more, it started seeming a bit off. Yeah, no, I don't really want to imagine that. And Noyes went to the experts and brought in a beekeeper who actually discovered that the bees were coming from the roof. In a series of tweets, he posted this. When you suspect a beehive in the ceiling, you call an apiarist who shows up with a thermal imaging device, a stethoscope, and a drill to be continued. Be continued. The beekeeper found the hive in the office and used a thermal imaging device, which a lot of beekeepers often use. But once the beekeeper actually cut it open, there were a lot of dead bees. Many dead bees. Good morning and happy Monday. Here's a photo of a special vacuum made for humanely sucking up bees. After his initial investigative work was inconclusive, the beekeeper won't be sure of what he'll find until he opens up the ceiling. And to then actually remove the bees, he had to bring in someone else. This is like a whole project. It's pretty intense, but makes for good content, you know? He continued on Twitter saying, the beekeeper brought help for the extraction. Apparently we've got a large hive that recently died out and some robber bee activity. They come to steal honey and take it back to their own hive. So rude. In a few of the images, the pictures reveal how massive the hive actually was. And the hive filled a whole compost bin Andrew pointed out online. In a conversation with Insider, Andrew revealed that the whole process cost him $500. As people online have been seeing, TikTok is full of these beekeepers and bee removals. In this beekeeping TikTok, a real estate agent dives into these bees on a property and how a small problem turned into a big one. In the caption, he notes that a removal for the property cost $1,200. And you might be wondering, why would I pay so much to remove some bees? But actually, it could be dangerous if you do it yourself. And besides expensive bee removals you've been seeing online, people have also been keen to notice the TikTok beekeeping drama that ensued a few months ago. Viral beekeeper on TikTok at Texas Bee Works, otherwise known as Erica Thompson, came under fire for scooping bees with her hands, as you might have noticed in videos like the one we just showed you. With each video she finishes with, it was another great day of saving the bees, when in reality, it could go very wrong. Users online began to question whether or not it was safe to pick up bees with your hands like Erica does, and and she was also under fire for potentially staging her bee relocations and rescues with her husband. TikToker and bee professional at LA Bee Rescue said that it is nearly impossible to tell the difference between killer bees and less defensive bees without antagonizing them. I mean, talk about some bee industry drama right here. And Erica thankfully responded to all of it. She posted online, it's a sad day when people see a woman doing something that's so outside of the norm. They assume there's no way she can actually be doing those things. And if she is, she must be getting help from a man. She wrote this on June 5th, adding, as a professional beekeeper, it's my mission and my purpose to help people understand and appreciate the work of bees and beekeepers. And I'd really like to get back to doing that now. Yeah, I'm against sexism everywhere, including in the beekeeping industry, just saying. And also a reminder, don't do this on your own, get a professional. So what do you think about all of this stuff? Let us know at What's Trending is where you can find us on social media. I'm Cheryl Lazar, we'll see you soon.